It is Monday, August 16th, 2021. I'm Jonathan Lau, and this is 5 Minutes of Proof, a weekly analysis of the science behind ozone therapy. We're going to be taking a look at a series of case reports that comes to us from Italy today. The title of this series of case reports is Use of Ozone-Based Eye Drops, a series of cases in veterinary and human spontaneous ocular pathologies. So I thought you'd be interested in looking at how ozone therapy can be used to treat ocular conditions. I'm definitely interested in that. I hope you are as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. Here's what they say. The use of ozone in certain eye anterior segment pathologies could be providential due to its anti-inflammatory and bactericidal activity, in addition to promoting tissue repair properties. Unfortunately, ozonated oil is highly irritant for corneal tissue. Take note, if you'd been using ozonated oil in the eye, and I had advised some people that they can do that. Um, I've known some veterinarians who had done it, just going off of that. Um, it may not be the best thing because it may, uh, again, as they say here, irritate the corneal tissue. So um, we've always recommended using ozonated saline. Uh, we're gonna stick with that. Now, in this particular study, they were using a product that had been developed for the eye specifically. Uh, in Italy there. Um, however, ozonated saline can be used just as effectively, if not more effectively. It's just that you can't store it. You got to create the ozonated saline right when you need it, of course, uh, or that same day, typically, unless you're storing it at colder temperatures. And we've talked about that before. So a typical dosage of one or two drops of chlorium every four hours over three to seven days is recommended even though multiple and frequent installations are often required to achieve clinical resolution. And some patients tend to become non-compliant with frequent medications. So that can be a challenge, um, but keep, uh, it's, it's a good uh, regimen to follow f every four hours for three to seven days, depending on what you're treating and what you see. Um, so keep that in mind. So here's the issue. The overuse of antibiotics in the treatment of infectious diseases and the appearance of multi-drug resistant bacterial strains has driven us to look for things like ozone therapy that will help treat these types of issues. Uh, ozonated oils have the same properties as gaseous ozone, are well to tolerated by biological tissues, and their biological activities are related to oxygenated compounds. They are able to eliminate the pathogens by direct oxidation mediated by hydrogen peroxide, lipoperoxide, and selective cytotoxic, uh, cytotoxicity on fast dividing cells. Uh, moreover, and this is kind of cool, and, and we know this already, ozone allows a physiological wound healing, minimizing the risk of colloidal scar and also the risk of haze in the cornea. So we know that ozone helps the body to heal just naturally. And that's what, we're, that's what we're doing here. So here's the first case report. This was an Italian saddle horse, uh, some neoformation, probably a neoplasm or osteosarcoma. Uh, and they treated it with topical antibiotics and both topical and systemic NSAIDs um, without any significant improvement. So what happened? Well, after three days of therapy, the blepharitis and conjunctivitis disappeared. And after a week of therapy, the eye became completely normal. That's incredible. And that is a testament to the power of ozone. Case two, a six-month-old male European short hair cat was affected by chronic conjunctivitis present from birth. So struggling with this for six months, which was unresponsive to the traditional antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory therapy. After three days of the therapy, the conjunctival bacterial count became normal in both eyes. And the, this particular bacteria, uh, Enterococcus, disappeared. After 10 days of therapy, the conjunctival systems were no longer detectable. That's proof, that's evidence of the power, again, of ozone therapy. Um, here's one final one. We don't really have time to get into it. A dog that was experiencing some uh, discomfort and, and ozone therapy helped uh, clear that up until they could get do the surgery on this particular animal. I'm going to skip down to the bottom here. Just look at what they say in conclusion. From our preliminary results, ozone-based eye drops represent a valid and suitable alternative therapy for the management of external ocular pathologies in both animals 
and humans. Now, you can read the rest of this on your own, but I look forward to seeing you again next week for another installment of 5 Minutes of Proof. 